everybody, it's Samantha. Um, we've had a lot of people ask us to give a tour of the inside of our travel trailer. So today, before I head out with Lorelai to go get pedicures, we've decided to invite you all in. The sun's out today, and we're gonna show you what we're living in for the next seven and a half weeks. So when you step in, <laughs> you step into our living space. So this is the main living space on the rig. Um, we have a dinette that has the, um, the circular bench seating. Um, we still use a chair. We pull a chair out and I usually sit here so when we have our meals we can spread out a little bit more. Um, but when we do movie nights as dinette folds down, the kids all climb up on top of it and Chris and I bring our chairs in here because you can see there's quite a bit of space in this kitchen living room area that we can fit two zero gravity chairs next to each other and they're almost like recliners here and so then when you turn around you can see that the tv is right on this side and we can do our movie nights from in here so we try to do those on friday nights um underneath the tv we have repurposed some of what would be only for electronics previously and turned it into an area that holds, it does hold a bunch of jumbled up wires and things like that, outdoor speaker, but also some of our to-go mugs, the Yetis and the wine glasses, um, as well as all of our laundry and our coins for our laundry, an extra lantern, the Xbox for the kids, our diffuser with oils and some tissue here. So every little bit counts as far as storage is concerned. This is where I do the cooking. Um, as you can see, we did not clean up for you guys. This is just the way that things are. Um, we have a double sink here. And this, these cover and act um, dual purpose like cutting boards. So I do utilize those quite a bit. This is our coffee station right here. Um, I've had to kind of jimmy rig it a little bit and lift it up so that we can reach the plug here with the coffee maker. Um, this is all my utensils that I have actually used. Um, oh gosh, I can't think of the name of it right now, but we'll insert what it is, but they, they're sticky. And so I can leave these utensils here all the time. So they're like Velcro on them. Um, and I've used those two here for the um, paper towel holders or holder. So this is our paper towel holder right here. All of my um, oils and vinegar, spices, teas, coffee, things that I use more regularly here at the front. Um, these help to hold them in place so that way when we're driving and we go and open it, I don't have everything falling down on me. I store all of our breads up here um, to create a little bit more space. That bread didn't quite make it, it's a fresh loaf. And inside the oven, I actually store my cast iron skillet and some small cookie sheets. This is not the best oven, I'll be perfectly honest. Um, it's not really for baking, but I've been able to get some things cooked in there. I've done some bacon in there, I've done some casseroles in there. And then underneath we have some pot and pan storage down here. Um, uh, this is our refrigerator. It's a very nice size refrigerator, especially for a rig. Um, there's actually quite a bit of storage in here. Uh, we're quite the condiment family, so I do have quite a few of those. And then drinks. So drinks and condiments are a big deal for us. And then we do have a full freezer. Um, the kids and Chris are definitely into their sweets, but I also have some frozen fish, tons of veggies, shrimp, things like that. This is what used to be or was intended to be a linen closet or an extra closet. Um, but we have all of our clothing stored just fine, especially with the summer. So I've used this for extra storage. So down below here are the unopened snacks like crackers and chips and things like that, as well as some extra paper towels down here in this bin. And then up here are the open snacks. So these are the things that the kids can grab um, if they're hungry for something salty and crunchy. Um, we have this for them. And then also while we travel, so when we're driving, I take the bowl of fruit and veggies and I actually put it in here and my bag of bags and I shove it in there. So that's kind of where things stay when we're driving because everything moves around otherwise. So here's our pantry. Um, we have motion sensor lights that Chris uh, bought for me, which are fantastic. It is a little bit disorganized in so far as there's only so much space to fit things, but I have kind of a method to my madness. So I've got nuts and pancake mixes and cornbread mixes and things like that, breadcrumbs and all that. Up here, I've got sauces and 
different things back there. Down here I have quick grab, um, easy snacks and lunch, like if the kids just want to make some noodles or what have you, some mm. unhealthy foods. Sour Patch Kids. Sour Patch Kids per their request. Different canned products. Down here I have different um, baking type needs, but again, like I said, we can't really use our oven to bake. Um, but this is what happens when you have children and we did not clean up for you is that they just throw things in wherever they can find space instead of, you know, putting it back where it belongs. But anyhow, um, our family are big fans of the instant mashed potatoes. I'm not the biggest fan of instant mashed potatoes, but they love them. So I do carry those and make those for them occasionally. So before we head back to the bathroom in the bunkhouse, I'm going to show you the master bedroom. Okay. It's where all the magic happens. Oh yeah. So our master bedroom has two slide doors here. So you can access it from either side. So this side's my side. On this side over here, we each have a nightstand. I keep my briefcase up here when I'm not using it. I usually work at the dinette. I've been noticing that I'm quite a bit extra dry on this trip. All of us have been. So I have extra lotion that I keep by the bedside so that I can use that literally throughout the day. And I'll even wake up in the middle of the night and put some on because I've just been so dry. Um, we have drawers, each of us. I keep my sunglasses, my jewelry, hair ties, nail clippers, uh, makeup in that right there. I'm currently charging Levi's iPad. Um, in here is where I store again with the motion sensor lights, but the battery's kind of dying on this one, but I store my purse in there when we're not out and about and then my clothes. So this is a sweater that you've all seen me wear quite a bit if you've been watching the daily recaps because I love this sweater. It makes me so happy. It's already had to go through the wash at least once, maybe twice actually. Um, I have a Tupperware here where I have all of my leggings and tank tops because I do love me some leggings and tank tops and I do work out on the road still so I, I have all those here. This, I really wish that would work, but this is where I keep all of my regular clothes so jeans dresses other shirts we did bring a couple of nicer outfits in case we decided to have a date night or something along those lines so that's all here i have my rain jacket here and i actually have my clutch for the wedding that we're going to be attending later um, in the summer there so that's kind of what we keep i keep in that area right here and then on this side I've got my comfy blanket so when I get up in the morning and I want to go sit outside and drink my coffee on my chair I just grab my blanket right here this does have the lights I've got underwear bras sports bras bathing suits pajamas all of that good stuff right up under here I've utilized shoe boxes and Tupperwares and just had to get really creative with all that stuff our hats are hung over here on hooks so I really like my situation where I've got the string from my wide brim hat and I can hang my um, baseball caps. We keep information about our current park that we're in here. So bathroom codes, Wi-Fi codes, maps, things like that. This is Chris's side of the bed. I, his clothing and everything fit perfectly in here. He didn't bring too much, but I really wanted to show you that we use this for additional storage. So in here we have all of our beach towels and an extra fan as well as our peppermint essential oil. Um, we, like I said, we have the diffuser and we love the oil. So we keep our peppermint here close to our bed on his side of the bed, which you can't see right here, but he's going to try to show you is the laundry chute, which is very convenient. So we, that goes to the underneath storage component of the RV. And we just put a laundry basket, one of those pop-up ones under there, and we can throw all the laundry in there without having to go outside. So this is the bedroom. Oh, wait, hold on. We have extra storage. So we have all of this area underneath the bed so right now we use it to keep you know our shoes go here we could potentially push the mattress back and have it to where we could walk through here but we choose not to do that uh, we choose to use it for additional storage Chris's um, camera backpack as well as my workout so I've got my bands in here I've got my um, yoga mat that I use it's a thicker yoga mat that I use for working out my weights my sandaly shoes that I don't wear on a normal daily basis as well as my backpack um, are all in this under compartment. Chris's nicer shoes are in here and then all the rest of this is his camera stuff. So he does have quite a bit of camera gear um, and it's all stored very neatly underneath here. 
So that's it for the bedroom. I will now move you guys back into the bathroom and the bunkhouse where the kids stay. So what you're going to see right now is the reason I wanted this particular trailer. We saw a lot of trailers that day. We saw much bigger trailers, 36 foot trailers, 32 foot trailers. This was the reason. A lot of them had that bedroom like ours did, and a lot of them had a similar layout here as far as the kitchen was concerned, but this is the piece de resistance for me. This is our Jack and Jill bathroom. So there was one door with the bedroom, then there's a second door here, and you can walk into our bathroom. Come on in. We have a shower with a tub, Chris did a little bit of uh, work to get this so that we could remove this all the way down, which makes it a lot easier to clean the baby um, down in the tub. It used to be pinned right here, which didn't make a lot of sense. We couldn't really get access to it. So Chris fixed that for us, which we're very grateful for. So we have a shower with the tub. We have a toilet. And you notice there's a lot of space. This is not a wet room. There's a lot of space here. Um, we have a smaller sink it's true but we have overhead storage here where we keep a lot of our extra shampoos conditioners all of our first aid stuff our dr our drugs <laughs> um toothbrushes toothpaste lotions all that good jazz we have an extra tupperware here where we keep things like flat iron and more vitamins and razor blades and just extra things for us and underneath here we have rubbing alcohol and the um the hair dryer and then we also store a little bit of toilet paper there that doesn't fit into our little uh toilet paper stand this was a recent purchase of ours was a tv for the kids so while they're in their bunk house they can watch tv and that's one of the kids phones ringing <laughs> okay so they can watch tv while they're in the bunk house um it tilts so from either bed, they can see it. And then when we're traveling, it fits perfectly back up against the wall and we can close the sliding door. And that's how you would use the bathroom too. Yes. Cause you would close that door back there yes. as well as this door here. And you have all the privacies. Yes. So that's one door, two doors, three doors that separate us from the kids at night. So if we wanted to watch a movie or if they wanted to watch a movie, then we would be able to kind of keep a little bit of privacy, a little bit of separation. The other thing I want to comment is I'm 6'3 and yes. I fit in that shower no problem. Right, which yes. Is, or 6'2, I'm 6'2, I'm not 6'3. He usually says he's 6'1, he's 6'2, he's not 6'3. I fit in the shower no problem. Yeah. And there's this um, reset, like recessed sunlight kind of thing up there. And so I fit absolutely no problem. Right. Uh, and I would say uh, one other like comment is like overall, yeah, these curves. ceilings, I don't the know if you can see it in the video, bit. but everything's vaulted, yeah. kind of. Yeah. It has this like nice curve over. And so I literally have probably what, like six to eight inches above my yeah. head, yeah. which yeah. is fantastic. Yes, yep. So this is the bunk house. This is the kids' house. Like I said, you're getting real life. They didn't really clean up. Lorelei is a little bit tidier normally, but that's just how that works. So this is the bunk house. When we travel, I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you this because she does have things folded up there. But when we travel, this comes up all the way. Try Currently, it. they've used. Ooh. It's fine. So <laughs> you're. Oh, poor Lorelei. When we're in a park or we're we're camping the girls use this for storage for shoes for the dog's food for isabel's um scout backpack and sleeping pad, pad and things like that they store that down there but when we are en route or traveling we put the grill and izzy's bike down there and as well as the tupperware and it all shoves in there and there's netting to help keep it all in place so um that's how that travels but this is the kids bunkhouse so as you can see, they have little nooks. Each of them have their own little nook. Levi does sleep in the bed with Lorelai on the bottom bunk just because they both can sleep like logs. Um, and there's a little bit of extra space at the foot of the bed. So they, they're able to spread out a little bit and that works for them. So far, no complaints. But we have offered to have Izzy jump out on the dinette with her with her pad and her sleeping bag if Lorelai ever wants to get a, a night off. So here's their closet. 
Each of them received a Tupperware. Levi got a, a Spider-Man chest, but they each received a Tupperware. They could put their things into it. And we were told we told them that they basically needed to make everything fit into that Tupperware. And then the Lorelei gets this up above space here. And Isabel gets this down below space here for a little bit of extra stuff, whatever they wanted to bring. So that's it oh and there's a back door i don't know if you notice that so there is a back door that leads into this bathroom which we utilize a lot when we're on the road if we have to stop for a pit stop instead of going and using some yucky bathroom we can just jump in this back door and have access to our toilet right here which is really nice and it allows for us to go in and out without really disturbing each other so if the baby's taking a nap we go through the front if mom's trying to take a nap or dad's trying to take a nap or just trying to relax then the kids can go through the back so this is our 25 foot rig highland ridge 2510 bh that we absolutely love um and we will be living in for the next seven and a half weeks and we've been living in for the last 16 days or so so um hope you enjoyed it hope that clarifies some things for you guys um uh, and now you know when we talk about all this what we're working with follow us on instagram at traveling tribe of five that's the number five not the word five and um hope to see you all out there